You're watching Showbiz Insider. Time now to take a look at the musical icons that have been rocking the Emirates. So Dubai Music Week literally came out of nowhere. And suddenly we had Quincy Jones, Will I Am, Timbaland and even Selena Gomez all in town to help develop the local music industry. So from discussions on the evolution of music to breaking new talent, it's all here. So Dubai Music Week brought together musical legends and uncut new talent, hosting both international concerts alongside talent searching competitions. From workshops to the producers panel, the musical greats inspired with their take on how local culture affects music and how music inspires culture. I'm addicted to traveling, addicted to languages and the culture here is unbelievable because our, our culture is based on the music food and the language. That's what makes the culture. So what does our region need to grow musically? Well, Timbaland spoke of embracing Middle Eastern sound and rhythms, revealing his total passion for music. I've always been abrasive of new sounds, new culture. I feel like the Middle East sound is the best, the best sound ever. That is my personal opinion. I feel like the rhythms I feel like the Middle East, I don't know if this is the difference between the Middle East and Africa rhythms. Like, the rhythms are not like, they're not on an American scale, like they, they're on a scale of its own. And producer, performer and entrepreneur Will I Am believes that the next international superstar could actually come from the Middle East. You know, there's wonderful artists that come from all over the world. <clears throat> But very few artists become global acts. You know, J Lo from Puerto Rico and um, Shakira. And we haven't really seen an Arabic or Asian global superstar yet. So the world is waiting for you know someone from the Middle East to be the big global superstar. Now, Showbiz Insider is always looking to break and support new local talent. And the Pepsi Challenge brought together six of the best bands from around the region. They were battling it out, jamming on stage to be the opening act at the closing ceremony of Dubai Music Week. So much talent. Let's meet the boys. First up guys, it's Nicotine. Now they hit the Dubai underground scene full throttle back in 2009. Having supported Nickelback and Mixamo Park, they also bagged the Silver Award for Best Rock Act at the Asian Voice Independent Music Awards. So tell me about the Pepsi Challenge guys. What exactly is going on here? How many bands are involved? We've got six bands from the Middle East and we are from Team UAE and uh, we are battling it out right here and uh, so far it's it's good and uh, and uh, and like hopefully we'll win. What about the competition? They sound pretty hardcore. Well uh, bring it on we are uh, gonna give our best anyway. Yeah it's easy actually. <laughs> And co-creating the hip-hop scene in Saudi Arabia, Run Junction has a multicultural flavor. Six MCs, three producers, and they use a mashup of talents to create a really diverse sound. Amazing. Uh, in Saudi, we have a bunch of uh, music groups. We have a lot of independent artists, and everyone's doing doing great right now. It's expanding, amazingly. Now, normally, Run Junction, there's a few more members, right? Can you talk me through who's involved and where are they from? It's very multicultural, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we we have a, a multicultural uh, a, a band, basically group. I mean, we have Anas Arabi from Syria, and this is Mo Flo from Syria, uh, Caffeine from Eritrea. Uh, I'm Vision from America. We have Tim Granite from Canada. Also, there's Mind Circus uh, from Lebanon, and we have Uzi from uh, Indonesia, uh, and we and, and we just uh, we have a group of, of producers, and we have also Magic, uh, and he's in he's in California right now. Keep 
Keeping traditional Lebanese poetry and folk music alive, Adanese are a unique five-piece ensemble. Poetic lyrics, festive tunes and playful arrangements brought them extensive popularity in the region. That was after the release of their first album back in 2011. And bringing back classic rock and grunge is Jordanian lead vocalist Kamal with his band Empty Chair. Awesome performance. That was just incredible vocally. Now tell me how you started. It was like gigging in pubs basically. Well yeah, it started as a, as a fun thing, it started as a hobby. Uh, we started a small band, three, three members, acoustic set, and we started in a very small pub. And then things got like a bit serious. We started having fans and followers, uh, so we kicked it up, it kicked it up a notch. So now we're here. <laughs> you certainly are here. Well, and initially it was more cover songs, right? Who were like your biggest influences? I started singing. I mean, my, my main influence was Creed and Pearl Jam. These are like <laughs> I started singing because of these guys. I love them. I love them. Now tell me, you've got some new releases coming out that you're, you've actually scripted yourself, right? Yeah, uh, we had a single release actually before we came to Dubai in like a week. It's on YouTube, it's called Come To Me. And uh, it's, it's the single release for our album, coming album, it's called Disclosed. Which will be released hopefully by the end of October. It will have seven original songs and I think they're going to be amazing. <laughs> And finally, Jeddah, fabulous, ambitious members, that's J-Fam, rock the stage with a fusion of hip-hop and R&B. It started in 2008 uh, in an event that we had in Jeddah. We were all individuals and that's where it started. Each one of us went on stage and started performing. And then me and this big fella right here, Ahmed Bala Skills, we got together and decided that we should create this band this one energy and put all these talents together and then the gentleman over here joined us later on during the years and we're here right now in Dubai Music Week. You are real trendsetters now I know you've already been on MTV Arabia how was that experience? Um, it was something different but I think uh, when was Hip Hop Nash uh, production there in MTV and all this stuff it was something new in the area nobody was hearing about hip hop even in Arabic hip hop and R&B and all this stuff so uh, we got a lot of experience through this uh, TV show and all this stuff. This, what you see today, the energy, what we created is how much we love music and how much we love music is, is you got to know that we build our own studio with our own hands. That's how much we love music, you know, it, this is what brought us here. the big stories in film, fashion and music. There's just so much going on in the UAE right now. Remember, it is of course Formula One and you can get yourselves down to the Studio F boat, which is going to be the biggest boat in the marina to do a little bit of celeb spotting yourself. That brings us to the end of this edition of the Showbiz Insider, guys. Hope you love the show. Make sure you join me same time next month for more Hollywood gossip and local legends. <laughs>